No one you know, cares if you smoke a joint or not. Straight in the governor's mouth, no one cares if you smoke a joint or not. I guess Prop 19 didn't have to pass after all. All the stories people are talking about and everything you need to know right now on The Filter. Hello again off the top, it's The Filter Forefront, our top four of the day, including report the news or be the news. Is it one and the same today? But we'll begin with this. All right, over a month ago on Primetime News LA, I talked about a new dome stadium that would be built in downtown Los Angeles next to the Staples Center. It would replace part of the convention center and be financed by the folks at AEG who built Staples and LA Live and own the LA Kings. Aside from eventually becoming the home for an NFL team in LA, it would host world-class events and conventions. I said it seemed like a great idea, but not everybody agrees. Here's a video we found online. They need to get past this perfect location because it's not going to happen. Rolling down Imperial Highway. The big nest right out of my side. Santa and the wind's blowing hot from the north. We were born to ride. Ouch. We don't know who put the video together, but we do know that Ed Roski has plans to build a new stadium in the city of industry, and he's been waiting for the NFL to give its blessing before breaking ground. Our contributors tonight, Doctor of Social Ethics Charlotte Laws and Emmy Award-winning journalist David Reese. Our pictures are furnished by Skype. David, we'll start with you. A new dome stadium for downtown with more hotels and housing. How can you not like it? Right, as long as I don't have to pay for it. That's my whole thing, okay? I'm all for sports franchises. I'm all for big, grand stadiums. I'm all for all of it, but I don't want to pay for it. That's my thing. So, you know, if AEG can figure out how to do this, and I don't have to pay for it, and we don't have to pay bonds and all that kind of stuff, because it seems like every single time one of these teams wants to come somewhere, guess who pays for it? We do, even though it's a profit-making thing for the owners of the team. So if they want to do it, I think it's great. I, I'll tell you who made that video, by the way. The guy who wants to build out in uh, in City of Industry. <laughs> Duh. You know, I mean, it's, it's not rocket science. But you know what? I mean, here's the thing. They're going to riot where they're going to riot, OK? If you're going to use that as an excuse, you don't think they're going to take to the streets when someone wins in the City of Industry? That's ridiculous, you know? I mean, the truth is, as long as you build parking and there's infrastructure, I guess, down, you know, downtown now, there's all this light rail and and subways and all that kind of stuff. So, you know, yeah, I think it's a great idea. And um, do I think people around here really care? No, because nobody really seems to care about having an NFL team here, have you noticed? But if you're going to build a stadium, Charlotte, to me, uh, with all due respect to Ed Roski, why not build it in downtown LA? Do you like that idea? I really don't. And I don't think it's just about whether it's a break even, like David said. I think that you need to really make sure that there's going to be revenue for the city of Los Angeles and not just collateral benefits, you know, like collateral damage, where you're getting benefits for restaurants and hotels and, and cab drivers, but actual money coming into the city, because you've also got to cover additional transportation costs and police protection, and they're going to be all sorts of things, congestion that people have to put up with. And my view is, is we haven't had an NFL team for 16 years. It didn't work with the Rams and the Raiders. I don't think it's necessary. I'm from Atlanta, Georgia, and I can tell you, in Atlanta, it's kind of like watching sports is the center of people's lives. It's a huge deal to this day. I live in Los Angeles, and I know you're a sports guy, Fred, but I don't know anybody that watches sports. I mean, it just doesn't happen like it does back what, east, and I don't what, see that it's going to be that big of a deal. Wait. We don't have a lot of time here, Charlotte, because we have to move on. What <laughs> kind of remark was that? I don't know anybody that watches sports. Nobody watches the Lakers. Nobody watches the Dodgers. Nobody watches the Kings in Orange County. Nobody they watches the Angels. They certainly never tell me about it. I know you do, but in general, in my friends, I think what I don't Charlotte's think they trying do. to say is it's just not as big a deal here well, as it is other places. I think it would fail. I really do. It's no, no, Charlotte. <laughs> all right, let me just tell you something real quick. Then we got to go. First, it's not going to fail. Second of all, if they build this facility downtown, the NFL is going to be in there what eight times a year to play games. This is going to house conventions and stuff, and the city officials believe this will move L.A. up to number two behind Las Vegas in hosting conventions around the country. They think it's going to uh, uh, generate a lot of revenue. They think it's going to create a lot of jobs. The NFL team is the primary beneficiary 
but the city would benefit 365 days a year. That's their plan, okay? And yes, people watch sports, Charlie. <laughs> All right, after that, I don't know what you feel like, but if you want to light a joint, go ahead. No one cares. I know Prop 19 was voted down, but according to our current governor, that's only because the law was written badly. You might as well light up. No one, you know, cares if you smoke a joint or not. Right. But I mean, it, 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 this uh, Proposition 19 went a little bit too far. Right. I think, okay. and it was yeah. written badly. A lot of the proposition, and I think it's important for people to know, propositions don't... All right, voters in the state defeated legalizing marijuana 54% to 46%. Do you think it's because the law was poorly written? What do you think people don't want it legalized, Charlotte? I think that there are three reasons generally. And I think that first of all, it is because it was poorly written. That's one of the reasons is that it wasn't specific enough. They say that about 4% of the people would have voted for it who actually did vote against it. What if was it the problem been, with it? Well, it should have been, you know, it, it didn't say where this was gonna come from and it didn't talk about how the taxes were gonna work. It had a different plan for every city. So it was it was not gonna really work out, it didn't seem like. But Secondly, wait, the whole plan, the whole plan was we're gonna legalize pot. That's the bottom line. I don't care where the taxes come from. I don't care who gets the money. The yeah, bottom line, is, how, can you, how can you miswrite that? We're going to legalize pot. That's well, it. Well, I actually am in favor of it. I, I voted for it. But I think the people were very concerned that it wasn't specific enough and it, there was a lot of holes in it. We didn't really know exactly what was going to happen. Also, there was opposition from within the marijuana community. There were people who already are growers and dealers and dispensaries, and they were fighting against it because they were scared they were going to lose their business. And then thirdly, you had the governor who changed the law with regards to one ounce Charlotte. or less of marijuana Charlotte. and turned it into an infraction. All right, all right, all right, Charlotte. Wait, i got to move on to David. Charlotte, the dealers were against it. They were going to lose their business, yeah, but it's illegal to deal it in the first place. I know so, it, so but I'm people, just telling you. So wait, so you guys have both missed the point. <laughs> Charlotte, Charlotte, the lead here is that Charlotte voted for this. Charlotte <laughs> wants to legalize pot. <laughs> what? Yeah, I do. I do. All right, David, what do you think? Well, who knows why it went down? I mean, there's a whole host of reasons. I mean, none the least of which is we're at, you know, it, this is a major watershed thing. It's the, it's the decision about whether or not we're going to decriminalize um, drugs, and that's just a big deal, you know. I, I just don't think you can separate out, you know. Oh well, people didn't vote for it because it was confusing, or you know, people, people. It, it's it's the bottom line is this is about whether or not we want to legalize um, drugs in this country, and you know, it's a slippery slope. Once you start, where do you stop? So we're going to say marijuana today. What if we decide, well, maybe cocaine? We should license it. It's a little higher class, so you know, we'll make more money. You know, there's a lot of reasons. So, but do I think it's a good idea? N no, I don't. All right, let's go on. Hold if you're so smart. Prove it. Contact NBC Filter on Twitter or Facebook, or send an email to the filter at NBCUni.com. We care what you think, but if we don't like it, we'll filter you.